we're going to go into a string. We're going to take a string. And then we're going to count how many times particular characters appear in a string. So for example, I have a string. Um, let's say this string is called uh, bombastic. How many times does B occur in bombastic one. Well, we're gonna write a function that's gonna find out for us. So here we go. We're gonna write two functions. So you can do this one or two ways. Um, you can use a loop or you can use um, a higher order function, right? Okay, so let's go ahead with the loop, okay? Count the number of times B count number of times I her. Right? And oh, and by the way, let's do this. Um, let's make this an extension of the string. Okay, count number of times I occur. S, right, is of type, um, actually, string dot elements. So the number of times is an integer, because that's a count. Right? <sighs> So um, first of all, let's go ahead and we're gonna go, th we're gonna do our loop, which is very easy. So we're gonna have a character counter. Every time we go through our loop and we see a character that's equal to the one we're looking for, we're gonna increment by one, right? Simple logic. self right for I am self we're gonna say counter plus equals one that's how you increment by one right you can all also you can say counter equals counter plus one same thing right now we're here and we're going to say actually just, uh, we're going to just return counter and that's it right there simple as that so i'm gonna take this right here x i go here right here to counter dot count number c o u Count character occurs, and the character that we're looking for is B, right? Okay, well, I'm just counting, right? I missed something. Sorry about that. Um, if I equals S, then X, V, um, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, sorry. Two, there are two Bs in bombastic one. So this is the first is the first answer with um, a loop. And then you can also do it functionally in one line, right? So 
I will say get answer functionally. Oh, come on, functional. Right. So again, as colon string. Oh, crap. String. Okay, string. Jesus Christ. Print. Okay, get answer functionally. And I'm going to say return uh, self dot reduce self dot reduce right zero okay dollar sign zero It will say, oh, no, it's not dollar sign zero. Zero. This should be zero, right? Not dollar sign zero. That is your initial amount. That means what you're adding to. <sighs> dollar sign one. You know something? Th this next video, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in depth with higher order functions so that you guys understand this. Right now, for now, just copy. Copy and paste, and I'm gonna go in depth so that you can understand. Zero. And of course, this can't be that because it has to be an element. It's a character. So let's see, bombastic one. See? Dot get answers functionally. B. And you have the same answer, just done differently. All right, so I just showed you the reduce. Now I'm going to do uh, this next video is just going to be talking about higher order functions and just how to use them. And that is a whole video in and of itself. So on to the next. <laughs>